All right, sending our camera guy out. National Anthem just wrapping up. All right, if you're watching the stream, let's uh, let's let's see if you guys can uh, shoot us a message in the comments. Uh, how's the audio? Are we coming through nice and clear? Let us know. Um, trying to just make the, make sure things are uh, come through nice and clear. Trying to get through the got to go. Well, this is going to be a similar similar to a half pipe attack type of run run obstacle here. Run across these angled platforms onto the ninja leer. This is a swinging obstacle. Hands and feet are allowed. Trying to find the rhythm. Okay. Use that bungee in the middle there to swing, get that momentum built back up. Yeah. It comes down off of the platform. That is the start platform for the next obstacle as well, so that one's not going to count. Here we go on the geometry dash. A lot of different sh shapes here. Similar to the diamond dash. Oh, no, coming down hot. Nice try. And then the last obstacles that you really got to go. Got several bars up there, a sideways throw, and a ring chaser you're going to see here in one second. It's going to come down as soon as they get to a certain point. Oh, grab it onto the bars. And has to utilize the smaller ring can only use the V portion. Just short on a throw. And that's going to do it. Nice try. Okay, we 
getting some uh, clarification on the rules uh, up there right now from uh, making sure the course judges are telling everybody the right way to go about uh, the course breakdown here. Getting a thumbs up from Max. Got Michael Scott on the course right now. Goes by the hilariously intense Ninja. Going across the Godzilla lane. Climbing his way up for the gotta go. This is a new obstacle. And you've seen the maker Ninja, Kevin Carbone, creates. You gotta grab and slashe right away. It does lock into that forward position. He's just a little shy of making that grab. Running across the angled platforms here. Latching on to that cat grab. Oh, nice. Cross, climbing his way up. Oh, he's going to take a seated approach here on the ninja leer, the chandelier type structure, in order to get to that bungee. Oh, trying to find the rhythm, grabbing hold. Oh. Thankfully, so he's got plenty of swing room. Oh, now he's got to try to get to the donut. Repositioning here. Almost getting there. And he's going to go ahead and drop. Onto the pixie stick. And that's going to be time. And he's going to go ahead and... Wrap it up. Nice try, Michael Scott. Coming up now is going to be Noah Munier. Looks like he's getting his chalk ready to go. This is going to be a speed course here. This stage one, only a minute 35 to get through as many of these obstacles as possible. Okay, looks like he's looks like he's starting to get ready to go. Make sure we're getting the course reset. Doing some rearranging out there, looks like, making sure. Oh, and we're off. He is on the move, Noah's going to take the King Kong way. Just go ahead and Kong over that box. Climb on up to the, got to go. Lachey right away into that next bar. Gets the clear right there, coming down off that trapeze bar. Running across the spinning pipe into the angled platforms. Nice cat grab technique into the chandeliers here. Does he opt to go down the low side? Lachey's right away. Oh, could have went for a quick dismount. But wanted to control that dismount because he cannot step off the platform once he lands on it. Until he engages that next obstacle, the pixie stick has to make a sharp right turn here. Excellent job. And now onto the geometry dash. Whoa, all the way across. Noah is setting the pace here. Nice moves all the way through. And not going to be able to keep up with the ring, sadly. But he's going to use the smaller ring. Can't use that black portion. Excellent aim. Straight to the bar, going for the dismount. And then there's the buzzer, our first clear. I believe that's going to be it. Yep, he got the smoke. Smoke going off will only happen whenever a full clear happens. So great job 
Noah Munir getting through all eight obstacles with a clear time of 103.66. All right, guys, I'm back in. Had a little bit of audio issues there. Um, if you're in the chat, uh, just let us know if uh, everything's sounding good. We really appreciate the feedback, trying to make sure everything's good to go here for the rest of the day. Uh, but I'm going to be joining my buddy Strat on the commentary now. All right, up right now is Lila Nathanson. Goes by the Scrappy Ninja. Coming out of North Carolina, trains at the Rock Solid Warrior. And we're going to see how she does. She's been training Ninja for about a year now. And she recently got third place at the National Ninja League Worlds in 2021. And here she goes. Making her way through the stroll in the park. Which way does she decide to go here? Going along the Godzilla route. Yeah, taking the low route. Let's see how people react to this new obstacle here. The gotta go. Nice lache right away into the dismount. Great job. Making short work here. Oh, oh coming down off this slip pipe. Gonna keep moving here. Remember, they can have up to three fails on this first stage. Yeah, we'll see how she recovers here. Definitely looked like a hard fall there. Trying to get in a good position, grabbing onto that bungee is going to set her really low. But yeah, good she's transition. Go low here. She's got the dismount here if she wants it. Opting to go for that donut to assist with the landing. Good job. Better be safe than sorry, I suppose. Almost makes it to the clear platform. Geometry dash. Got to hit right dead center on these. Oh, gets her way through. Nice job. Got to go quick here. That ring is set and going down the track. There it, it is. Comes. It's going to be oh. just short. Grabbing the tuning fork ring here. Trying to set her swing straight. Don't You don't want those hips going off angle right away on the first swing forward. Here we go. Looking and for the dismount. Does she get there in time to clear it? I think we're going to just shy. A good run by the Scrappy Ninja. Lila Nathanson. Up next is going to be Jaden Sylvester. Jaden Sylvester up next. Jaden's coming out of St. George, Utah. And goes by the Hearing Aid Ninja. It's been training Ninja for about four years and Trains out of the grip. Awesome gym out there in Utah. So he's getting some uh, final words from uh, Mr. Max right there. And he was on this season of American Ninja Warrior, season 13. So let's see how he does here at Ninja Intensity, making his way through Stroll in the Park. Yeah, these those. athletes have a minute and 30 seconds to clear the course. Minute 35, I'm sorry. Strat with the correction. Nice high. Oh, almost went for the dismount there. Tries to get lined up. And those bars are in play. Anything you see with that white tape there. One, two, three. Smooth. Great. Dismount off the spinning pipe. A good time here. Just now under a minute to go, and I think the, the chandeliers here, the ninja leers, it's pretty time-consuming because the swing can get off kilter really easy and really... Oh, he just... I have to lache this. Gets the transfer across. Grabs onto the donut, trying to make the dismount. Just, ah, oh, too You have to slow this down. For the transfer back to the other side. Need to pick up the pace towards the end. 
you've got a series of uh, really, really tricky balance obstacles. It's going to be challenging, especially when you start to try to rush in order to get through as many obstacles as you can with that time limit. All right, up next. Avery trains out of center court and has been training Ninja for about three years now. Competed on season 13 of A&W as well. And here she goes through Stroll in the Park. Up and over the Kongs. Kongs. A lot faster there. Right away. Go. Oh, oh, no. Can she hang on? She's got the finger strength. This is going to be tough. Utilize both sides, opting to go for a oh turnaround here, smart way. It's in play. So that is allowed. Nice work. Making it across. Not quite able to get the quick footwork across the spinning log. Moving now on to the Ninja Leers. Nice skips to Bungie. Starting to build that swing back up. Never mind about the uh, got to go from previous obstacle that was not going to count for. But she's onto the pitch. Nice. Geometry dash. Oh, just not quite able to get the footwork there. And that's going to do it for Avery. Actually, so you can only utilize that front side of the gotta go. That obstacle is intended to force a lache right away. You got to dismount right away off of that. That's why it locks in that ending position, kind of cause you to peel out on the back swing, make it much more difficult. All right, we got a, a Rice and Clark right now coming out of Utah trains at the grip as well and here we go all the way through stroll in the park takes the Kong the Kong route good the shade down on the gotta go and right away transfers off steady those hips for the dismount Clear all the way through. Now we need a little speed here. One, two, three, onto the warp wall. Great job. Ah, but can't oh, that's hang okay. on. For the traction required on the steep, the steep angle there. Making good time right now. Only, a, you know, 30 seconds. She's got a minute left. A couple more obstacles. Nice, nice skip there. Cross. Trying to work around now. Might twist that. Chandler, nice in order to get to the donut for the dismount. So you got to go slow on the pixie stick here because you have to make that sharp turn. Nice control, but oh. steps back. I think that's might have been a clear. We'll have to get some confirmation. But across the geometry dash, ah, just stepped down off of the third platform. Just a little time left here for the really got to go obstacle. That first bar sets the ring down the track. Here she comes. See you coming. On to sideways. Here she comes. Oh, oh, just shy. Trying to 
to make the Lachey across. Nice, but can't you get the dismount in time? Uh, not quite able going to get there in time to clear that one, but nice run. Let's go ahead and take a Got a lot of sponsors for this competition. Amazing. They were able to get some prize money for the athletes, get some new cool obstacles here. Um, you can see Zimmer Biomed, Pro. Thank you to all of these sponsors for uh, helping us out here. on the course right now coming out of Steel City Ninja training four years one of his biggest ninja accomplishments is uh, skipping rungs on the salmon is doing some 3d printing in his spare time taking a big pillars finding his path here on to the split decision Opting to go on to these smaller platforms to cross through. Nice work. Get those hips back behind you and oh. just not able to get the transfer up to the next bar. Quick feet. One, two steps. Woo, big jump. Nice work. Starts his little cat shimmy across. On to the chandeliers. So he's going to go for the Lachey, skip that bar, skip the bungee, as it were. He's got a lot of swing here. Does he go for the dismount or the donut? Grabs the donut. Nice control. All right, William, let's see. Good control on the balance. Nice work. William's doing great work here. Cross the diamond dash. Does he save it? Not quite able to just had his hips too far forward leaned back a little too much it's gonna be his first fall that's gonna be his time gotta move quick gotta be efficient calculated when you're out there yeah I mean this is a tight time limit for these athletes they gotta move it's not easy Yeah, it was ad advertised as a challenging, challenging course. So these competitors know what they signed up for. Time crunch is going to be an obstacle in itself. Let's see how we do for the next competitor. We got James Zanella on the course right now. Coming out of center court in Lawrence. Although we're already through strolling apart, going across the King Kong box. And let's see, he's got that Sen City shirt on, so we'll probably yeah. try to send this, no problem. On the shade, nice work coming through. And he gets a quick dismount. Got to stride across those pipes. Can't grab his way across. Good pace here. To get that donut right away for the dismount. Great control here. Just at a minute remaining. He's got to slow it down a little bit on the pixie stick. Good right now, though. Nice job. Geometry dash. He's got the time. Hopping through all these moves here. Can he catch the ring? Nice. Caught it. Nice work. Cross. Come on, James. You got it. And bar to dismount with some time to spare. Great job. Awesome work. Nice work, James. Up next will be Gary Park. Heading up to the platform. Goes by Scary Gary. 
Means a little bit everywhere, but mostly out of the danger zone. See how Gary, scary Gary, does out here at the Bucket of Chalk Comp. Let's see, and here he is now strolling through the park. Oh, coming down. A little too hot on the pad, I think. To double check, but it's cross King Kong now into gotta go. Oh, but that backside's not in play. Yeah, they made an announcement also that you cannot use that backside. He's trying to cross. Good. Chandelier time. Does he go for the bungee? He does. Got to. He's gonna wait Ooh, a little bit. keep those bit. feet up. I know. Good lock-off strength in order to keep those legs up away from the padding. Grab on the donut. Just has to steady his swing a little bit. It's a controlled dismount. Starts looking for the pixie stick. That thing spins real fast. Good job. Makes it through. On the geometry dash here. Whoa! Not able to get all the way through. That second one tripped him up. And that's going to be his three and done. Nice try, Gary. Well, Bucket of Chalk is raising awareness for breast cancer, so make sure uh, you check out what they're doing. Check out the merch table if you're here right now. Really amazing. We got Christian Yost up on the course right now. The dark horse, 17 years old, coming out of Dallas, Texas. Trains out of the gauntlet. has been training for nine years. Really enjoys classic video games. Was on American Ninja Warrior Season 13 this season. And American Ninja Warrior Junior. So he's no stranger to all the ninja competitions all the way through. Strolling the park, going across the King Kong boxes. And to got to go here. Good little shake. Can he get it? Not oh. quite able. Didn't have his hips behind him, but he's not letting that phase him. He's already through the shark tooth into the ninja leers. Nice little toe hook there. Pulls back, grabs onto the second one. Little off angle, but still able to get a good control dismount. Nice job, Christian. Slowing it down now. Got to slow it down for this spinning pixie stick. Nice save into Geometry Dash. One, two, three, four. Oh my gosh, just went for it and cleared it. Coming up with just about 30 seconds left. Nice blinking Lachaise here. Oh, he had it in hand and just missed. Here he goes, gonna go ahead and pull, probably throw right away. Plenty of time left. And there it is, time. Honestly, a, a really sloppy run from Christian. Usually he's a lot more clean than that. I think with the with the time factor uh, in play, these athletes are just trying to push the pace when they can. But still, making it through a, a fair amount of those obstacles. Nice job, Christian. Michael Bellion's on the course right now. His nickname is uh, Not Applicable Ninja. Coming out of Long Island, New York. Trains out of the Freeport Ninja Academy. He's got about two years of ninja under his belt. And we're going to see how he does. Got second in the Adults National Ninja League Worlds 2021 just this season. Let me see how Michael does. Right, 
said he just recently shaved his head because his barber wasn't answering his calls. <laughs> so he's got a fresh haircut. Oh, false start here. Oh, got to wait for the 3-2-1 go. Sure Michael's a little fired up today. A little fired up. He's at the ready, and he's off. Strolling through the park. Opting for the King Kong route. Into the gotta go. Keeping those hips back in order to get that lache technique down. Nice and smooth. Cross the shark tooth pipe. Oh, but he's slipping a little bit. Up and over. Into the Ninja Leers we go. Lachey's right away into the donut. Great transition. That's going to be probably the most efficient we've seen so far. Trying to steady these hips to get that controlled landing right there on the ledge. Nice job, Michael. Into the pixie stick. Slowing it down. And a little too far oh. to one side. That's going to be his first fail. Coming in hot. Almost loses the glasses, but saves it. We got the ring chaser. 35 seconds. Moving quick. Nice matches into. And let's see. He's got to wait for it oh, here. Plenty oh. of time, but he loses track of where it was at. <laughs> Using the smaller ring, no problem. Still some time to spare. Good strong pull in order to get to the dismount, hitting that buzzer. Nice job, Michael. Nice. Got John Mack on the platform right now, getting ready to run. John Mack got that Reach T-shirt on, meaning he probably's got a huge wingspan, which will come into play on some of these obstacles. Competitors with a longer wingspan can just sometimes take those shortcuts when needed, so that can really work to their advantage. It's getting ready, and here he goes. Stride through, stroll in the park. Opting for the King Kong vault. Oh, nice little safe, uh, quick speed vault across the top. Can't use feet on that box. Going for the Lachey. Got to go, no problem. Quick feet here for... Nice job. Oh, slips a little bit. Staying nice and controlled here into the Ninja Leers. Use that, that reach. wingspan. Got that reach. No need to lache whatsoever. Ooh, but too much, too much pressure down onto the pixie stick. Geometry dash, nice and centered. No problem. Didn't look like he stuttered at all there. And will he go monkey bar method? He's lacheing through hand to hand, side to side. Not quite able to get the ring. Go ahead and grab onto that secondary one. Tuning fork time. Pulling back. Gets the transfer across. And once again, just static holds. There we go. No problem. Great run. Just a little, little slip up coming off of the pixie stick platform at the start there. Hopefully that time will stick for him, making it that top 50%. Okay, moving on now for our next competitor. Somebody we know very oh well over my here. Goodness. <laughs> Ethan Swanson, ladies and gentlemen, on the platform right now. The Daredevil Ninja. Flap those arms. Get the crowd going. Coaching out here at Ninja Intensity. Living out here in Colorado now. Longtime competitor on American Ninja Warrior. Known for his speed, his crane scaling abilities, all sorts of daredevil type escapades. And hopping in, let's see how he does. Shouldn't be a problem through the platforms there. Strolling the park up and over the Kong box, no hands or feet needed. Into the gotta go right away. 
Pulls back. Gets the set across. It. Already positioned himself into that angled shark teeth run. No hands, no cat grabs. Gets a good push. Tries to get that chandelier swinging. Nice lache into the donut right away. Good efficiency here. Oh, pixie stick transition. Smooth. No problem. Whoa, fast footwork. Nice job, Swan. And can he go through fast enough to grab the ring? Sideways, here it comes. He sees it. Oh, oh, but he swipes it away. The tuning fork throw. Good job on the transfer. And the bar and the buzzer. And he gets Mr. Swanson gets the full clear. Great run there by Swan. Swanson on the right hand side, you can see in first place eight points. Noah Muner in second, James Sanella in third right now. Getting ready for our next runner, so just a quick look here and. Back. We got Jackson. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. Who's strolling the park? Nice little kickback right away. Good for Shea. Coming in hot. Great work. Yet another sense. Ooh, pixie stick. Right there in the corner. Ooh, what a save. Manages to fall into the next platform. Going across geometry dash. Oh, not able to get there. Nice try. Ring as it's coming down. Great transitions. Plenty of time here, but not able to grab the ring. Crossing across. Nice little shake. Hit the buzzer. Don't forget to hit the buzzer. There you go. To end your time. Jackson. Nice work. I'm the last runner of the day, so we're we'll getting all the beta from everybody. <laughs> Best as I can. Oh, I just like to make it through a one piece. Let's we'll see how. Platform ready to go. Alex Real. <laughs> getting ready to run. Alex Real is on his way across, strolling the park. Up and over the Kong box. And into Gotta Go. Able to get the right amount of momentum built up, but Shark Teeth can't quite get that one either. Those are steep platforms. Let's see, he can only fail one more time. Try to get those hips back. Skipping the bungee. Going straight into the donut. So far, so good on that one. Thing will spin right out from underneath you if you're not careful. Alex, nice try. Shot of the crowd here. Everybody's enjoying the show. He's hanging out and enjoying their Saturday. Things set back.
got Isaac on the course right now. Coming out of Ninja Nation. And going across. Strolling the park. Hopping on down. He's got Lightning McLean there. He's going to be his coach. Walking alongside. Make sure he gets through the Kong box. Nice work. Editor's Fair on the gotta go. It's going to be a big Lachey. Able to hold on. Let's try Isaac. So kind of have fancy footwork here. Ah, not enough speed to get through that. He's going to go ahead and climb up onto the shark teeth. Onto the chandelier here. Getting that swing built up. Or, oh, he's going to go the low route. Grabbing onto the bungee. Can't quite hold on. Try to fix it. Let go yet. Getting the swing built back up. He's getting twisted around. It's hard to time that reach. Each time and just not quite able to get there. Three. Nice try. This is going to be a much more. That is not slowing them down in the slightest. Nice try, Isaac. Up next, we got Pax. Okay, Pax on the platform, ready to go. Looking out on the course, making sure he's got his path figured out. Hopping in. Going around, finding that dismount. Nice work. Up and over the con box. It's got to be back. Nice work. Gets the transfer down. Clears on. Got to go across the pipe into Shark Teeth. Ooh, a little bit of a slip, but can't. Smart work there, being aware of those. Slippery platforms based on the shoot. Try to way across, trying to build that momentum back up in order to get to the donut reach. Good timing for the rotation. Got to slow it down just a little bit here. Just under. Into Geometry Dash. One, two, three. Falling forward gets the clear. Trampoline. his way through. The ring's going to be a little far forward in front of him. It's all right. As long as he doesn't make a mistake here. He might get another full clear. Good job. When smoke goes off. Nice job. champions and here he goes now on oh, strolling the park working his way through these boxes hopping his way down which path is he going to take take the balance route Godzilla route can he be one of our smaller competitors get through they got to go big lache back not quite able to get the toss up but that's okay right away through the shark teeth Reset on this just so he can get that point for the Ninja Lear here. Nice transition across. Good Lachey. He's going to try to time this rotation around to grab the donut. Keeps his momentum and gets the dismount onto the pixie stick. Ah, you can't grab onto the safety barrier there. That is there to slow you down. That's going to do it. Okay. That's going to do it for him. Nice try, Caleb. Hey. Uh -huh. 
Some of those obstacles are going to be really tough to do when you're trying to rush. If you have a slip up earlier on, you've got to be able to redeem it. At some point in time, it's really, really challenging when you're out there in the heat of the moment. And here we go. we got a barefoot ninja on the course right now. Running the course is going to be uh, Cecilia Boggle on the course. Running through. On to. Got to go. Oh, just not able to get the Lachey on to. Teeth. Isn't that can't grab tech? Gonna climb up. Gets onto the bottom portion of the chandelier. Lachey's right away makes a transition, and here comes the move up to the donut grab. And great timing. Let's see if the bare feet are just gonna help her out on the transition on the pixie stick. Got one more chance here. Can't have any more mistakes. Cross geometry dash. Coming out of Ninja Street down there in Miami. Trying to get the timing just right here. Coming down on the front side of that platform. It's going to spin. It's going to rotate. Nice try, Cecilia. Good try. Good try. platform now is going to be Kevin Rodriguez. Let's see what his plan of attack is going to be. For the stroll in the park. Max making sure the course is good to go. Kevin is off. Big drop down, up and over. No need to use hands there at all for the Kong box. And here we go on, got to go. Hips back, shades right away. Great technique for the dismount. Right away into the shark teeth. Ooh, it might be close on the, on the slide there. It's going to be slippery when you make that transition, but he's going to keep on going. Grabbing on to the bottom portion of the chandeliers. Moving through, he's got to slow it down now. Making great time. Good transitions. Had his body in the right face and direction across. Geometry dash. Oh! Short on the second step. Not going to let him be phased by it too much. Still moving really quick here. Going to be there in time. To grab the ring, but not quite able to get the timing. Utilizing this smaller one. Up and over. Plenty of time remaining. Ooh, good save there. Had to match back on to the tuning fork hold. One-handed dismount and slap that buzzer. Nice try. Kevin Rodriguez got through the majority of them. Jumped your dash. Caught him off guard a little bit, but still. Good run. Coming up next is uh, Mazaya Andrade coming out of Woodbridge, New Jersey. Trains out of center court. And he was on season two of American Ninja Warrior Jr. All right, Mazaya, let's see how he does here. Rocking that GBW shirt. He's chalked up, ready to go. And 
up onto Stroll through the park here. Hopping around. Clear. Calling it over the box. First couple of obstacles just there to get that heart rate up into. Got to go. Does he have to Lachey? Oh, good grip. Great grip. Able to maintain on that backswing across Shark's teeth. Still smooth through it. Come on, let's go on to the chandelier here. Lining up the transfer, going through the low route. The shades across, good work. Slowing down just a little bit. Trying to maintain that swing. Good work for the dismount. Nicely done. Now comes the tricky pixie stick. Yeah, that's all right. Only the first one. He's got two more left. Geometry dash. Nice try, man. That's those are catcher. That second one's been catching people every uh, every time they just shortchange that step. And final obstacle here. Really got to go. Getting those lachets. Not quite able to catch the ring. Just a little bit behind it. On now for the team fork throw. Transfer, transfer just a little high. Nice try, Mazaya. That's going to do it for him. platform right now is going to be Vance Walker coming out of Atlanta, Georgia. Is he undefeated on the American Ninja Warrior first two seasons. Didn't compete this year on American Ninja Warrior Jr. because he was old enough to be on the big show, actually on a w primary, making it all the way to stage three his first ever season. Here he goes through Stroll in the Park. Let's see if he can make it through all of these stages here today and tomorrow. Taking the Kong box up and over. Good throws. Pulls really hard on the forward on the forward swing. He balances something he sometimes struggles with, but not this time. Good save on the slip there. Making his way up. Good control. He's gonna probably pick up the pace here for the upper body portion. He's got power for days. Good transition to the donut and controls the landing. Once again, balance. Wiping those shoes, making sure he's going to have good traction. Stepping on to the pixie stick. See, he's just being a little hesitant here. Wants to make sure he's got good control. Low center of gravity. Leaning towards the platform. Just shy. That's all right. Cross diamond dash. Yet another bounce obstacle. One, two, three, four. Nice dive roll there. And you really got to go here on the final obstacle. Popping his way through. Does he catch it? Yeah. Plenty. Of, and he's got it. Plenty of time there. Back pull gets the uh, gets the toss. Looks for the Lachey. And time. Just one, I believe, on the pixie stick. You ended my Spun. Advance. Let's see if it's going to hold up throughout the day. Top 50% of the competitors will be moving on to stage two later today. Mr. Scott on the course right now. Making his way short work of uh, Storm the Park over to Kong Box. Pace here. Working through the shark team. Two steps on the spinning pipe. Nice save. Not letting the steep platform slow him down here. Into the chandeliers. the 
right direction. Good controlled landing. Pixie stick here, trick we've seen. Go nice and controlled. Keep those get it, get it, feet in one direction. Sometimes works. Not going to pan out for him there. Geometry dash. Oh, my gosh. Oh, just not able to get through after that slip up. Just got one more to go here on the sideways. Gets the transfer across. Building that momentum up just a little more in order to get to the bar. And eyeing that platform and the buzzer. Just a couple slip-ups. Hopefully that last time will stand for the remainder of the day. Thumbs up to the camera. Nice run. I want to thank everybody for tuning in today. We'll be live streaming all the day long. Like I said earlier, we had 155. Oh, next competitor is already on the on the move. No, he's just hopping down. Sorry. Pace here. Let's see who do we have on the course coming up. But thank you again, everybody, for tuning in for the live stream. Jump in the chat. Cheer on the competitors. Ask questions. We'll do our best to respond as best we can. Eight obstacles. Time limit of one minute and 35. Of course, designed by Max and Caden. Here, Bucket of Chalk 2.0. Getting all the ins and outs figured out. Yes. And here we go with our next competitor running. Right now we've got Jaden Welch striding his way through. Stroll in the park and King Kong box. No problem. Into. Got to go. Keeps his hips back. Nice lache across. Into. Almost gets the dismount. That bar is in play. Here he goes now on Shark Teeth. One, two, three. Good save on the ascent. Climbing his way up into the Ninja Leers. Trains out of Flow Vault there alongside Lauren Ball. Nice to share across. Often to go on to the opposite end here of the Chandelier. That can be a little tricky because it's just going to spin right back into your start position, but he gets the momentum needed to get to the donut. Nice work. Here we go now on the slower obstacle, the Pixie Stick. Taking that time. Good control. And Geometry Dash. Got to sprint through these short changes. That second one, again, it's been the second one catching people off guard. That's his first fail. Moving on now to the really got to go. He's got to start, start hopping his way through here in order to get to that ring. You can see it's just going to get there before he does. But still unfazed. Moving on to the smaller ring. Mm -hmm. Trying to straighten those hips. Eyeing that transfer. Nice. Good work. Ten seconds. Get to the bar. Gets to the bar and the buzzer. I believe just one slip there off of the diamond dash. Uh, altered version there, the geometry dash. Nice work. Mr. J. First competitor, Noah Jones, on the platform right now, coming out of Concord, California. Goes by Ninja Noah. Trains out of a Traverse Fitness in Squadron. Seen him out there, train alongside Brian Kretsch, Sean Bryan, Alan Keneally, the West Coast crew. It's good to see all sorts of competitors out here from all over the country. 
Jones getting ready to run here. And here he goes through Stroll in the park. Got through stage one at the NNL Worlds. Over the Kong box he goes into, got to go here at Lachey. Good technique here and quick dismount onto Shark Teeth. One, two across, spinning log, grabbing onto that angled platform. Making quick cat grabs up. Let's see what his plan of attack here is going to be. He's going to go the high route. Nope, just going to do a quick heel hook. It's a nice heel hook to get the bar closer. Transition, making sure he's got the swing here. This shit! Oh! <laughs> That's all right. One start platform over the other, taking his time across the pixie stick, but turns the hips away from the platform. It's going to be his first fail. Cross geometry dash. Hot. Too hot, but. Not letting that stop him. Still going to keep pushing through here. On the Noah looking for the throw here. Gets the move. Now he's looking for the dismount or the bar. It's the buzzer there. Nice job, Noah. Let's see if we can go back to that replay here. Transition, making sure he's got the swing here. For the save. Lands a little oh! too much oh, That's all right. Good work. Noah Jones. Oh, boy. These, these narrow landings, if it's a end platform of one obstacle, start platform or the other, they have to stick the landings. They cannot dismount. The Sin City. <laughs> we see some cool shirt designs out here. Every ninja seems to get their own logo and design nowadays. We've got David uh, Tomasoni. Just got clarification. The Pixie Sticks a, a feet only obstacle, so the hands on there won't count for it. Mr. Noah. Sorry about that. But David on the court. Uh, Colorado running across the King trains out of Ninja Nation in the Lafayette location. No problem on the gotta go coming down into Shark Teeth. Oh, he opted for a Ooh. slow approach. Just can't you see how much that pipe spins there on the dolly wheels? Not forget. In we go now on to the Ninja Lear, Chandeliers. He's swinging a little bit all over the place, but he steadies himself between the two. He's a taller competitor, so he's going to have to just try to get that swing just right. Nice save. But coming up on just 35 seconds remaining here. Can he get across the Pixie Staff? Some, some clarification some here. Clarification there. You know, I think that's going to do uh, it for David. Nice try, up. I think man. It, did he hit the fall maximum? I believe so. Yep, that's going to do it for David. Up next, we have uh, Luke Dillon. I think he's heading up to the platform here in just a second. Luke Dillon getting ready to run, Sen City Athlete. Make sure he's getting all of the instructions cleared by the coaching staff here. Look at the chalk crew, making sure the course is reset. Everything's Cleaned up. With competition called the Bucket of Chalk, you can expect a whole lot of chalk all over the place. So you see Isabella up there making sure <laughs> the start platform is going to be good to go. 
<laughs> Cleaning things off for our competitors who are chalking their hands up, but in doing so, sometimes sabotage uh, their own runs, having that chalk slip down onto a feet-only obstacle for later in the course. Can be real challenging. Uh, look at our sponsors there. Again, yeah, huge thank you to our sponsors. You know, we want to shout out Ninja Masters, for, you know, providing the scoring system here, the, all the graphics, the timing you see, that's from uh, Ninja Master app. Go ahead to their website, and you can follow the competition along live. Ninja Masters registration score system takes the obstacles out of running a competition. Whether you're running a spontaneous course with a few ninjas, a multi-stage competition like this one, or an entire league, master everything you need. And Luke is ready to go. Luke Dillon on the course. All the way through, strolling the park. Going to try to get through a different route here, looks like. Hopping his way through. Over to Kong Box. King Kong done. And they got to go right away. Good moves. Quick work of the first three obstacles into Shark Teeth. Strides across. Begins his ascent. Get to that bar. is going to be a clear for the Shark Teeth. Into the Ninja Leers. Lachey's across the base there. Onto the donut. Good landing. He's going to slow it down for this feet-only obstacle, the Pixie Stick. Want to kind of pre-position yourself so if you do start to fall, you fall towards that platform. Good job. Oh, <laughs> what a save. Got to stay centered on the geometry dash. One, two, three, four. Dives into it. Gets the thumbs up. Excellent save. Can he make it to the ring? Cross sideways. Good moves there. And grabs the ring midair. Nice work. Goes for the ring toss. Oh! Just short on the move across. Wow. That's going to do it. Let's Man, see if he... we can cut to that. Just came Look short. Look at this save right here. Coming across the pixie stick. Hops to the corner. Oh! Wow, nice work. Really good save there. Nice job, nice job, Luke. All right, moving on to our 34th competitor. All right, up next, we've got Wally, Ross Kelly. Better number 34. Getting ready to go here in just a second. And off we go on Stroll in the Park. Go Kong Box, no problem. And it got to go here. I'll line up this Lachey just right. Ooh, not quite able to hold on. Nice try. Across the Shark Tooth, not able to get to the warp wall there to begin his ascent, but he's going to climb up and see if he can make it through the remaining portion of the course without any slip ups. Can't have any more mistakes here. Two so far, and onto the pixie stick. Taking that sideways motion. Ooh. Good save. Makes it through. Geometry dash. Forward. Oh. Just not able to get there off of that tipping platform. And nice that is going to do it. For Wally. <laughs> Still had a lot of fun out there. That's what it's all about. you got to have a good time when you're competing or else it's going to be really stressful. You're going to have a good time. and It's going to help you stay relaxed and perform even better. All right. Coming up now on the platform is going to be the Sunflower Ninja. Kayla Cittadino coming out of Thornton, Colorado. Trains at the Flow Vault. It's been a uh, training ninja for about two years now and took second place in the Colorado, Colorado League finals 
in her first year competing. And here she goes through Stroll in the Park. Making her way around. Looking for the dismount. Nice job, Kayla. Going through the Godzilla route here. Balance path. Stepping through nice and controlled. On to Gotta Go. Gets the swing built up. Grabs. Does she Lachey up? Oh! oh can't quite hold on. Such a tough move there. All right. Into and shark teeth. You gotta go fast on the spinning log here. One, two, three. Just gonna go ahead and skip past those first two to climb up for the Ninja Lear. She's got one last chance here to try to get a get through these last few obstacles. See her plan of attack going through the low route. Building up the swing. Let's the spin take her a little closer. Nice transition. It's going to start doing the same thing here again. It's going to let the spin take her closer up to the donut for the drop down. And nice superhero landing there. <laughs> for, oh, just oh, not quite didn't full make on. It. Must have stepped back off of the platform. Nice try, Kayla. Just a few more competitors in this first wave. Up next, we've got Harry Haldeman. Headband Harry. He's going to be coming up to the course soon. <laughs> All right, Harry. Getting ready to go. He's getting, the, getting a little more ambiance. Somebody set the mood with all the uh, with all the smoke at the start there. All right, Harry. Headband Harry rocking through. Stroll in the park. Coming out of Denver, Colorado. Trains here at Ninja Intensity, so this is his home gym. So a lot of this stuff you might be familiar with already. No problem through the first two obstacles. Looks for the Lachey on to gotta go. Wants to make sure these hips are a little further back. Oh, but does he, he have to the, hold on here? He locks it in at a low point. Nice work. Not a bad way to try to fight his way through. On to Shark Teeth. Quick footwork. Nice reach onto the ascent. Starts climbing his way up. Using his feet here. I like this. Getting able, getting the reach. Big swing. Good swing. Nice transition right away. Sticks the landing. Now it's time for that pixie stick. Going across. Great control. Geometry dash time. Not much run up to get that speed you need. Oof. Okay. Gets it. Got through the, the plane for the landing platform. Onto the really got to go. Will he be able to catch that ring as it's coming down? That backswing might not get him to it in time. Oh, I think he jumped to the second. I don't know if the ring. The ring got hung up. I'm not sure what happened there. He's going to get uh, a reset. Getting a reset here. I think what happened was he moved too quick to release the ring. Uh, I see. Oh, not able to get there in time. He's going to go ahead and opt for the, oh, the ring. It is available, thankfully. Chucks it across the gap on, Harry, you got it. and gets to the dismount. Nice. And gets the buzzer. Job there, Harry. That's a good job. Great work, headband Harry. Final few competitors for this wave. You can see we've got a full house in here. The next wave is warming up in the warm-up zone. Everybody's starting to get loose. Making sure they're going to be ready to fire on all cylinders. Here we go, Phil Folsom. Yeah, this is a run that I'm really excited to watch. Phil Folsom, you see him train with his brother Sam. These kids are absolute monsters. They train out of their barn outside of St. 
be a fun run to watch. Let's see how he does. Most recently just got first place in the pro division at the Jungle Gym competition. Loves to do crazy stunts on. Follow that if you want to see them on their obstacles. Two obstacles. Great job. Phil. Strength is really good. And two sharp teeth. One, two steps. No problem. And going for that can't grab tech. Climbing up. Rocking the strikes. No strike shoes. No problem on the Lachey. He's got a great pace here. Man, just cruising. But he's got to slow it down here for the pixie stick. And oh. Not a Geometry dash. Oh my gosh. It's going to be close. Here he goes now into the final. Really got to go here. Grabs onto the bar. Sets the ring down the track. Here it comes. You can see it. Just had it. Let's see if he can get this timing down. Up and over. Going for the dip. Just the pixie stick that hung him up there. Hopefully that time sticks for the rest of the day. See his older brother there. Congratulating him. We'll see him run later on. Yeah, let's see if we can pull up that leaderboard right now. Um, you can see Ethan Swanson still in first place. Noah, James Sanella. Don't know if Phil Folsom's run has come in just yet. Phil Folsom only with six points. Uh, 14th place there. Had a couple misses. <laughs> All right. Just a few runners remaining. We've got our final two here. Let's see if we're about ready to go. Ninja Intensity out here in Castle Rock, Colorado. If you're in the Colorado area, please swing by. This is an awesome facility to train out with some experienced uh, competitors from the show and just in general that have been training Ninja all around. It's a great space if you want to come on out, out here. If you're traveling from out of town, I highly recommend that you try to get in town a few days early in order to acclimate to that altitude. I know it hit me really hard that first day. I was here. That altitude sickness is no joke. Just like this obstacle course today, minute 35 for the first stage. Definitely challenging. Got to have a good pace going through. I believe our next competitor on the start platform right now. And here he goes, running his way through. Coming out of rock solid in North Carolina. Through Stroll in the Park, Kong's over that box into Gotta Go. He was on American Ninja Warrior this season. Strong competitor here, making his way through. Gotta Go, no problem. Onto the Shark Teeth, setting a really good pace here. Into the Ninja Lear. Ooh, almost had a little miss there, but... Slowing down the dismount for the Pixie Stick. Can he have... Control here for the transition. Hips get a little sideways, but he's able to save it. Quick one, any turn. On to Geometry Dash. Oh, my gosh. Oh, he gets, gets a little hung up there. No ball. Across the got to really got to go sideways into it. Does he catch the ring? Waiting for it. Misses it. But going on to the V hold here. Up and over. He's getting a little hung up, trying to make this move to the bar and the buzzer. Checking the ankle, making sure he's okay. Great run, Brett Strong. All clear for him. Awesome work. Strong competitor. It's This is going to be our last runner for this wave. Then we are at uh, All right. Brady Park's on. 
out of Obstacle Ninja Academy. Parker right now. I think he's going to make this course look like a stroll in the park with a little car. Got to go swing here. Let's see his technique. Ooh, good grab. Mount. Shark teeth, no problem. That, that. Boxes. See, and a lot of people just skip that bungee. Control it, oh. Brady. Too much. Quick feet. One, two. Down there. Got to stay all the way onto the. Bounce platform. Really got to go. Catching the ring even. Not many competitors have been able to. Do Off of the bar into the platform. You got to hit the buzzer. Got to hit the buzzer. You Let's see if we Don't caught that, that there. Oh, oh, I think it did. Yeah, it might not have counted for him, but yeah, I don't know. Good run from Brady Parks, and we have about ten minutes before. Quick look at our sponsors here. Um, thank you so. so We got uh, Humble, Humble Midstream, uh, Ninja Master, Copeland Precast, Whipfly, Castle Rock Autoplex, Zimmer Biomet, MB Roofing, McDonald's of Castle Rock, Our Way Pools, Bar S, Castle Rock Family Physician, Biagi Bros, Castle Rock Microwave, Air and Company, Stronghold, Colorado Foot and Ankle, and Pro Lift Crane, and also Safeway Grocery Store for providing some produce and groceries for our athletes today. Just a huge thank you to our sponsors. You can see how many people were involved in helping to put on this event and helping make sure that these athletes were taken care of, and so we absolutely appreciate it. Tune in to our upcoming Coming live streams um, to hear more about our sponsors. We'll go into some more detail, but we've got some more. We've got some more streams coming up. Uh, we've got one starting in about 10 minutes. We're going to close down the stream. I know we had a little bit of lag issues. We're going to try to fix that for our next stream. But uh, yeah, thanks for coming out, guys, and uh, we'll see you soon.